Hey, Shalom on my kingdom. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory. Went to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Kakadash. Yahweh be in the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shah be in the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. The Rakadash being the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great most known for teaching his truth and for ruling well. And peace and salutation to all you all came out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. As well, I see you believers in you, how Bashim Shai, the men as well as the women, the whole full of life. This is the brother Kahana La from the GMS Hawaii. And I wanted to do a lesson, you know, center around this article you see on the screen. <coughs> <coughs> This from um, RT, and it says, Our children survived 40 days in the jungle after a plane crash. And, um, you know, the first thing that came to mind, you know, since uh, uh, it says uh, it says the 40 days was, you know, in the account in the scriptures where Yahweh Shah was in the wilderness for, for 40 days. You know, uh, uh, doing a sacrifice unto Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, you know, which ultimately through the Spirit, uh, he's, he overcame, you know, then later was tempted by Satan, you know, but ultimately, you know, the I'm not going to read through the whole um, article, but uh, pretty much the stories that, you know, these. Uh, my family was flying over the jungle in Colombia, and uh, there was a plane engine failure, and uh, there was like a crash, a plane crash, in the way in the which um, the pilot and the parents of the children, you know, uh, died, and uh, the four children uh, survived the plane crash and were you know, wandering around the jungle for, for 40 days, man, you know, and they were children, I believe, let me see, I mean, it tells us the ages, yeah, it says the children, age 13, 9, 4, and 1, held in the indigenous, we thought the people who are native, native to southern Colombia, northern Peru, you know, so they were a young young children, you know, and one of them being pretty much an infant, man, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shah, they were, you know, uh, preserved, you know, and this reminded me of, you know, the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Shah. who knows if, you know, these, these kids are, are part of the elect, but ultimately Yahweh Bashem Shah showed great mercy upon them, man, because, and the wilderness, the jungle in Colombia, man, it's it's a dangerous place to be, man. There's all, all sorts of venomous reptiles, man. Uh, a bunch of uh, snakes, deadly frogs, poisonous frogs. You know, you have, you know, jaguars down there. And all sorts of animals, man. They have, uh, you know, a rebellious... Uh, uh, guerrilla groups, but ultimately Yahweh Bashim and Washai kept them from from all that evil. You know it says. Let's uh, read into it just a little bit. It says, for four children who went missing after a plane crash over the Amazon jungle last month have been found alive, according to officials in Colombia, with the youngest age just twelve months old. The kids endure the elements for nearly six weeks. The Colombian military announced the news in a tweet on Friday night, sharing images showing the children alongside soldiers and uh, rescue personnel. Quote, the union of efforts made this joy possible for Colombia. Glory to the soldiers of the Colombian military forces, to the indigenous communities, and institutions that were a part of Operation Hope. 
um, it said referring to uh, search mission. And you see, ultimately, you know, Jake always giving glory to the wrong people, man. Which all glory be to Yahweh Bashimel Shai for, you know, preserving those those souls, man. And as he that they, you know, we hope that Yahweh Bashimel Shai have mercy upon us, man, in the day of, of of trouble. You know, that's why we always, you know, tell brothers and sisters, man, that our hope is in Yahweh Bashimel Shai. There's no, you know, knowing of what's going to happen to us, man. You know, we could be driving somewhere, we could be flying somewhere, and all hell could break loose, man. You know, and whatever plans or or, or thoughts we might have had of, oh, when the day of trouble comes, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Those things are out the window, man. You know, because ultimately the Lord's going to do what he's going to do and we're, you know, dependent on him. You know, that's why Paul said that what? That we're prisoners of hope. You know, because we're hoping that Yahweh Hashem shall have mercy upon us. In whatever scenario or well, situation he puts us through, well, we're just going to have to endure, man, and have faith. You know, this is uh, 2nd Ezra 16 and 70. It says, well, actually, uh, The start of verse 70, it says for a second entry 16 and 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That's right. So Esau is going to come with great wrath. What we're going to be doing in those days, we don't know. All we know is that there's going to be a, a persecution you know, East is gonna try to, you know, uh, uh, get his hand upon the legs. You know, whether it be by literally, you know, putting us into into captivity, into uh, imprisonment camps, or whether he's, you know, where he he tries to go and you know, uh, destroy us via famine, uh, via uh, the sword. You know, we know that a lot of different uh, challenges are coming, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem we're our hope is in that we get delivered, or that if we do die, or uh, that it is for the name or for defending the names of Yahweh Hashem for righteousness' sake. You know, so that time is coming soon, man. And we know that that the only one that can deliver us uh, from these evils is Yahweh Hashem You know, so it says that they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. It says, for they shall uh, waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as gold is tried in the fire. That's right. And how are we going to know? Because of the mercies of the Lord. Just like these individuals, these uh, children, were delivered, man. Well, all hell is going to be breaking loose. And all sorts of things is going to be happening all throughout the earth. And we're going to see who truly is part of the, the elect uh, of Israel, man. Because they're the ones that are going to be receiving a mercy from the heavenly father uh, verse 74 hear ye my beloved save the lord behold the days of trouble are at hand but i will deliver you from the same be ye not afraid neither doubt for the most high is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts you see so the lord is letting us know that what that we have um we have guidance uh, of him, you know, through the spirit. He's the one that's going to be uh, guiding our spirit to do or, or what not to do, you know, in those days of trouble, which are already at hand. You know, we live in a time where we got to be uh, circumspect 
of what's going on. You know, we can't just be out here doing whatever we want, you know, saying whatever we want. Like, no, we got to be circumspect of what's going on and, you know, move with wisdom, man. So in the days of Jacob's trouble, we're going to have to be locked in in the spirit even much more so, man, because it's going to be a, a time of, of great evils, you know, and perils. But we know that Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to guide us through it, man, you know. Uh, this is the book of, well, it's a lot, let me see if I got something. Yeah, we can read this here in Timothy, or uh, Second Timothy, of uh, four and eighteen. It says, "And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto His heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory for ever and ever." Amen. That's right. And again, the evil works is gonna be what that that famine, the sword plagues, whether it be artificial artificially created by Esau and the heathens. Or whether the Lord is just bringing evil, you know, upon the, the, the earth. We're going to be delivered from, from those things through what? Through our faith and through the works that we've done for Yahweh by Hashem Uh Psalms 91 and 10 says, There shall no evil before thee, or neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Let's read. More verses. Uh, <clears throat> oh, let's see. Shoot, this whole chapter is good. Well, let's start from the top. <laughs> this is our Psalms, the book of Psalms 91 and verse uh, 1. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret places of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And the, dwell, the secret uh, places of the Most High is where? In, in these scriptures, man. In the word of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. And so we're going to abide under the shadow of the Almighty, meaning... We're going to abide under his protection. Oh, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust. And like we're saying, we got to trust in Yahweh Hashem because he's the one that's going to, you know, bring the judgment. He's the one that's going to uh, give, um, bestow mercy upon those that believe in him. So we all, we all got to uh, rely on him. <clears throat> Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence, which we mentioned before. And just like these kids, you know, there, there was animals, there was, you know, I'm sure there was, you know, many uh, dangers out in the wilderness, in that jungle. But guess what? They were preserved from them. You know, so how much more those of us that believe in the Lord. It says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings or shall thou uh, trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You see, and no matter what what comes our way, the truth is going to prevail, man. We're going to see and witness and be part of, of, of prophecy, man. So that's going to reassure us that the Lord never lied, man. That the Lord... The, that the Lord, you know, we already know that, but in those days, it's going to be such a, a, a faith booster because we're going to know, like, damn, this is happening because the Lord, you know, sanctioned it to happen. The MOTB, the persecution, you know, the, the Third World War, you know, it says, verse 5, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by the day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, 
nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. You see, so no matter what type of evil comes our way, we're going to trust in the Lord. And we're not going to fear none of these things. We're not going to be afraid of these things because we understand that is judgment. Verse 7, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. And this is our hope, that whether it be pestilence, whether it be the sword, you know, or whether it be uh, uh, the teeth of wild beasts, that none of these things uh, shall come nigh, nigh us. But we know and understand that thousands of people are going to die you know, in front of us, you know, our family members, friends. Why? Because of their unbelief, you know. Oh, verse 8, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, which is what? Death. Because of unbelief, because of the, the, the ways, the wicked ways. Because thou has made the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You see? And this, again, this is our hope, man. Because we see the evils coming. We see famine coming. We see pestilence. We see the war coming, man. And our, our hope is in this. That Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh which is our refuge, you know, you know, have mercy upon us. Uh, verse 11, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. You see, and these children, which are from the tribe of Asher, were preserved by the angels of Yahweh Shemel Shai, just like our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai was preserved those 40 days and 40 nights, you know, when he was... Uh, uh, in that fast, sacrificing unto Yahweh, unto Yahweh his father, you know, Lord willing, we are worthy of that that type of mercy, man. Um, let me close some of these up. Um, this is uh, Job. I believe there's some more in, the, in this chapter. Uh, this is uh, Job 5 and verse uh, 19. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall, be, there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. You see, and we're, we're, <laughs> we were speaking about that, whether it be famine or pestilence. Whether it be war, the sword, you know, the Lord's going to deliver us from these things, man. And that's the type of mercy that we we hoping for. Uh, verse 21, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. And a lot of people, you know, are seeing the, the, the chariots, you know, pop up. More constantly, they they seeing that you know scenes like what's happening in New York and, and on the East Coast of those effects the wildfires are having on the air, and people are like, damn, this looks like you know a doomsday, you know the apocalypse, and they're scared, man. They have a a a, a weak spirit on them, but guess what? We're gonna have a, a uh, a, the spirit of, of a sane mind, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua ultimately that's going to let us know that this is part of the part of the show, man. You know, part of, of what has to happen before the Lord uh, brings salvation unto us, Lord, Lord willing, will be part of the elect and before he establish, establishes his kingdom, you know. It says, um, and in those days, we're not going to be afraid, you know. 
because we're going to understand this is judgment. This is Yahweh. This is the doings of Yahweh by Shem Verse 22, it says, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. And again, Yahweh by Shem is the one that's uh, controlling these spirits created for vengeance. So in those days, uh, the men of the Lord, we're not going to be afraid of, <clears throat> of you know, of, of, of the evils, of, of the things that are coming, even of, of spirits, man. You know, the scriptures speak about, you know, apparitions, how the Lord's going to use, you know, those angels on the left-hand side to, you know, judge certain people, man. But guess what? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shah, we're gonna be able to rebuke those, those spirits, man. Even you know the beasts of the field. That's how strong the the, the spirit is gonna be upon our brothers, man. Uh, this is our Psalms fifty, and verse fourteen. It says, "Offer unto the Most High thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High." And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee. And thou shalt glorify me. You see. And this is what we, we're supposed to be doing man. We're supposed to. Pay our vows. Which is doing this work. You know. Rehearsing the righteous acts. And whenever the day of, of evil comes upon us. Which are, are, are soon to come. You know. We ought to call in Yahweh. We ought to call on, on him. All the time, you know, ask for mercy when we wake up to take us and bring us back to our dwelling places. Ask for mercy for, for our seed. Because we don't know what could happen, man. You know. So ultimately. The the mercies of Yahweh, you know. Are going to be upon those. That, that that fear him, man. Just like he had mercy on these children, he's going to have a more abundant mercy on those that believe on him, that, that, that gave up the life on this side to follow after Yahweh Shem Shah. So, hey, with that, Lord willing, it was edifying. Again, till next time, hey, shalom.